to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm just going to be looking at how to combine images together from one image which is this one I'm going to take and put it into uh, this part of the, the other image. Now first of all we'll just have to figure out how to get the, the picture of Marilyn here and how to to rub out the, the background. So there's a, a number of ways to, to do that. Quite simply you can use the eraser tool and you can just take it round the round the picture here. I'm just going to do this quick so I can show you the, the different methods that you can use to accomplish this. So here we go, we've erased round there there we go, that looks fine. So I'm just going to now select the area around our body there and just copy that and paste that onto our other picture. Size it down so it's the, the size that we want. It's a little bit smaller. And there you go, you can apply that and then come back to the eraser tool and finish off any bits that you've missed and, and also just zoom in and make the, the eraser tool smaller and, and go around the, the edges there. So that's that's one way of transferring the image across. Uh, you've also got uh, just a, another simple way again which is you could just take the, the image uh, from here You just take the, the complete image here, uh, cut that out and paste that into here. And again you could edit that, uh, use the, the rubber tool, you could even just leave it like that as well, or use the eraser tool uh, to, to rub out. But you've also got uh, another option which uh, some people much prefer and this is using the, the quick mask tool. It does take a bit longer uh, but it can be a bit more accurate. Uh, it's a case of just actually uh, clicking down here and coming up to the, the paintbrush and then you paint over the, the area here. Just see around our, around our hair. around our body there. And then once you've finished with that, you take the, the mask off and what it does is it selects everywhere else uh, outside of that image. Now uh, I've missed out the bit with the arm and I've went a bit too far there, but that's okay. Just doing this quick so you can see. But what you can now do is, now that everything else is highlighted, you can just hit delete and that'll, uh, as you can see, give, give quite a good effect uh, there. So we've got a nice glow around her. Now that looks quite good. Uh, I like I like that one. Uh, so, yeah, you could use that method as, as well. Let's just go back here. Now, you've also got uh, another option as well as using the, the lasso tool. Uh, and you can come in here and you can use the, the different ones that are here. You can use the lasso tool to just quickly draw around and uh, and get the picture. Again, that will that's quite a, a quick way of doing it. Uh, size it and do the same again. Remember to hold down shift when you're resizing uh, the image here and using the, the transform because that holds down the, the picture ratio. If, if you don't you end up getting the picture too wide or, or too long. Uh, so yeah you can use that method as well and again you can either then use the eraser tool or use the, the mask edit tool to remove that. So let's go back again here and uh, let's have a look at one other way that I know which is coming in and using the magnetic lasso tool. Now this one is this one takes quite a, a bit longer but really you have to go round the edges and the, the lasso tool just 
follows around uh, the cursor. This one takes a, a lot longer, uh, so I'm not going to do that. There, there is another way as well, which is probably the hardest way, but definitely one of the most accurate ways, and that's using the pen tool. Uh, and you can actually create a, a mask around the image and use the pen tool to, to follow the curves, uh, follow the outline of the picture uh, as well. And Again, this is this is probably more of for advanced users and people who are really wanting to get a, a really accurate uh, representation from from this image. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, just uh, a few of the images that uh, that you can use and give them a shot, see which one uh, you like and. Yeah, I mean, from the ones that I was doing, I much, I much prefer using the the quick mask, the quick mask tool. Just uh, let's see how quick we can get this done. So just quickly come around here. Over our body here. You can use a combination of them as well if you want. You don't need to stick to just one tool, you can combine them. So let's see how that's turned out. Oh, we've missed a bit there. The other parts we've missed. Well, that seems okay. So, yeah, I'm just hit delete here. Cut that out. Ooh. that in. And there we go. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope you find it useful.